Today we crown the barbecuiest of barbecue flavored snacks. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! Whoop! A few weeks ago, uh, we sampled snacks that had sour cream and onion flavoring yeah. in order to determine which one was most like the actual flavor. And it was and the crickets. The crickets well, went out. Yeah, who knew they could get so sour creamy? Yeah, they did. Let's see if we're surprised again today when we set our sights on the most American of flavors. Hmm. Hmm. Potentially. Barbecue. It's time for Super Snack Flavor Match, Barbecue Flavor Edition. Okay, now as we have established on this show and in a song that we wrote a long time ago, mm -hmm. barbecue is meat prepared in a very special way. Mm -hmm. But- It's not a verb. Right, and barbecue flavored things though, in America, uh, usually you're not trying to replicate the flavor of barbecued meat. Right. It's trying to uh, replicate sauce. Right, which we have some here. And, and usually is, it's like a Kansas City sauce. Right, which is... Um, it's a sweet... Thicker. Hickory-ish. Sweeter. Sauce. So we're tasting this now in order to establish a baseline with which to compare all of the snacks we're gonna taste today. Right, and see which one gets the closest. Let's get started. Okay, up first we have the classic... Uh, Barbecue Lay's chips. When when somebody says, "Give me some barbecue chips," you usually can't go wrong. This if you is get the go-to. I mean, and look, it, we might as well. It's we got the same exact thing happening oh, in real world and on the back. We don't have a hairy baster. Do we have a hairy baster? Where's the hairy baster? <laughs> There's all these people here, and I'm looking at no one because I don't really want a hairy baster. Well, that it's was just for comedy. It was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I the thing that never I, gets old. <laughs> the thing that I noticed from eating the actual sauce was the bite. There's a bite that you can't neglect when don't neglect the bite when comparing it to this. Now I, I was hoping I'd get one of those chips that's folded over because those are the jam. Like this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look, uh. man. You can't win the lottery by cheating. Yeah. That's a good actually, chip. It's better than the sauce. Isn't it better than the sauce? See, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lick it. Because I don't want to taste a potato. Here's a foldy. Oh, Here's a foldy with a baby chip coming out of it. I ate the baby and I'm going to lick the Here's another foldy. <laughs> Eat the baby and lick the daddy, kids. <laughs> so good. Cord Bubsby on Twitter said, Barbecue Lays are slap peach. <laughs> Makes me want to slap a peach. I think that means a butt. This is really close, man. Especially if you dip it in there. Um, okay, so yeah. we're... We're each, we're each giving these a one to 10, and then we're going to it's very close. average between the two. It's in the same exact, Man. it's coming from the same exact place. So smoky, it's got that bite. I'm going with a eight. eight. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. We agree. Eight. So that's a total of 16. All right, now let's check out some David Jumbo Sunflower Seeds, roasted and salted, and then barbecue natural flavor added. No picture of sauce on it. No. Um, let, me, let me give you a little bit. I love the name David for a, for a brand, it's like, my son David has these sunflower seeds, he really got a chime. What should we call him? I think we're just gonna call him David. <laughs> <laughs> you think, what if it's a tribute to somebody? Well, it's my son David, he's dead. <laughs> he, died, he died of sunflower overdose. What, what if that's true, man? Eat, spit, be happy. Are you talking? Yeah. Why'd you give me so many? I love eating these when I'm fishing. It gives me something to do besides fish. I don't. I'm I mean, a father-in-law. I'll be honest with you. They could just be salted, and I wouldn't know the difference. I cannot taste any barbecue sauce at all. Now that you mentioned the point of this episode. <laughs> Sorry, David. No. I don't taste any barbecue flavor in your sunflower seeds. You don't know he's in heaven, man. He may have been a bad boy. <laughs> How could anyone who makes this be bad? I kept all of the barbecue sauce for myself, but I still labeled it barbecue flavored. Oh, he, he's, from, he's from a different place now. Um, <laughs> he's Lufus, Lufus, Lufuser himself. All right, um, this is this is not barbecue. It's still great, David. I give it a one. Yeah, sorry, two. David. That's a total of three. I've got high hopes for these because I just I love eating Fritos. Mm -hmm. Have you had the chili cheese Fritos? That's not what this is about, but It's interesting because I've had those and I've had normal, but I've actually never had barbecue Fritos. Really? Oh, but the corn is really strong. That's why I'm just gonna lick this one too. They're so good. They are very good. They're so satisfying. It's, but it's, but it's a, it's there's so a subtlety to it. It's so corny. You gotta lick the daddy on this one. You too. gotta lick the daddy and then spit it out real quick. Why can't you lick the daddy and then eat the corn? Because then you only get corn. 
You don't now, want only corn. <laughs> again, because we're not analyzing how great of a snack this is. It's a great tasting snack. It's so but, salty though. But how much barbecue-ness is there to it? In fact, eat some sauce to remind yourself of what you're trying to taste for. It's so it's sweet. It's so sweet. There's, There's no, no sweetness at all in this. It's just salty and savory, it's good. But it's it's like half barbecue. It's like barb. That's I don't even know if they got to the B, man. I think it might just be bar. And that leaves me giving this a four. Four. For a total of eight. And you're copying my scores. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I, I had it in my mind and I wanted to say it in unison and then I said it a little late. So we're just on the same wavelength. Nothing wrong with that. It happens sometimes. You know what? I'm going first this time. Okay, yeah. Weight Watchers. Now you could, how many points? That's all. It, Air pop, not baked or fried. Two small Our points. Our pop barbecue potato chips are your go-to snack when you crave a savory snack. Enjoy this classy chip flavor for just two smart points. We get two smart points. Yeah, <laughs> the, the more you eat, the smarter you get. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, oh, after eating the things with lots of points. It Ooh, tastes wow. like some old gum that somebody left on a gym floor. Yeah, you know that those like black circles? I told them, I would like pointing to one of those. I was like, kids, you know what, what that, that is? is? I was like, with you. You were there? When I mean, you taught that lesson, we were in a parking garage. <laughs> My kids were there too. Yeah. You're like, all kids? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Gather around. You know what these black spots are? And Shepard was like, gum. <laughs> was like, yeah. we, we've had that lesson in the McLaughlin family. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would have been a cool lesson. Uncle Link teaching them about something. That backfired. They should have eaten these first. They're so bad after everything else. Yeah, dipping in some barbecue sauce. Have you licked the daddy yet though? I'm licking the daddy. <laughs> Actually, when I licked it, daddy, I got more barbecue flavor. Well, of course you did, because you don't have the flavorlessness of the gum. Yeah, the, the old gum. But do you taste how sweet it is compared to the Fritos? Hold on, but it gets barbecue points. Not only does it only give me two smart points, but it gets a lot of barbecue points. I'm gonna give, well, I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want Lee to copy me. <laughs> so Link, what do, you, what do you give it? It has more sweetness than any flavor I've tasted, but it has none of the bite. This is what I'm thinking over here. I'm no. giving this a three. What? I don't like it. And I don't, I don't think it, I don't think it's barbecuey. Seven. That's a ten total. Well, that's the disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what the review said. Yeah. Now we know why. It looks so big in the picture. Looks so small in, in Daddy's hands. <laughs> Daddy's hands. <laughs> okay. We're warm and soft okay. when I've been bad. What? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, no. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. They were the, hard as steel when I done wrong. wrong. Uh, <laughs> so these are Stonewall's jer jerky. Jerky. Jer they, they can't call it jerky because it, this is a, this is a vegan. It's a vegan product. It's a vegetarian well, snack. No, it's, it, is it vegan? It's vegetarian. There's a difference. It's animal free. Barbecue beef. Um, oh my goodness, it looks like a dog treat. You sure it's not? Is there a dog on there somewhere? Is this a dog treat, guys? It's in such a small We're pack. gonna eat it anyway, just tell us. I'm not, okay. This is definitely a they're dog not, treat. They're not saying, but. <laughs> oh, oh my it smells like a dog like treat. like a dog treat. Barbara's stuff smells, but I would never give this to Barbara. It's me. That's not me, man. This is a dog treat. If I had a choice between eating this, it's horrifyingly horrible. Or just expiring? <laughs> I think I would expire. I think it's expired. I gotta just lick the daddy. <laughs> There's no, do not eat this. Oh, even licking the daddy's bad. Oh, it's horrible. Zero trans fats though. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Come on, let's stress the positive. It's got a mustachy old man winking on me. It does have a good mask. He's winking on us. And it has a cactus on the front, a blackness. I'd rather eat a black cactus than this. <laughs> Blactus. I can't even get past how horrible Sounds like a superhero that lives in the desert. Comes out at night. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. And licks the dad. This is just abysmal <laughs> in taste. But can you can you decipher any barbecue-ness? It's got a little bit of spice. I can taste a little bit of like garlic powder, which is in barbecue sauce. But it's more like a jerkiness than a like a teriyaki jerky. They tried, they tried, but they started with in the wrong place. They started trying to make meat out of something that's not meat. But just pure flavor, eh, two, zero. Ah, for a total of two. All right, you ready to 
<laughs> no fishing. <laughs> so this is Thai Toro fish snack barbecue flavor, or as my dad would call it, Thai Toro. Like literally, we passed a Thai restaurant, and he said out loud, Thai food. Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said that. All when, dark meat. <laughs> when he came to visit me in LA. All dark meat all the time. <laughs> and I didn't correct him. I didn't say anything until right now. Um, what is this, man? These are made of fish, and they're, they got barbecue sauce on Oh my on gosh. Them. Talk about smelling like bait. Oh man, it smells like it walking down a wharf. Yeah, it's like when you're on a pier or a wharf. Now, what is the difference between a wharf and a pier? I think one A wharf one is floats. concrete and b bigger? No, a wharf moves a little. Really? Oh yeah. I'm gonna wharf it down though. Oh gosh. I can't read any of that. It's in another language? It's in thigh language. <laughs> I don't speak thigh. This is so chewy and stringy and fishy. It's not nearly as fishy tasting as it smelled though. Don't you give it that? Give well, it that. It's not that I can taste barbecue s flavor. It's that maybe the the fish flavors is notched down a bit by whatever they added. But as you can see, though, there's no indication of barbecue ish barbecueiness on this. There's just a fish, and then it's orange. And then there's a carrot on the back. There's a carrot on the back. And then if I, but if I look at it, maybe they think there is an orangeness. There's an orange tint that I don't think comes from anything except a snapper. It does say barbecue, it says barbecue flavored on there though. <clears throat> Maybe they think carrots are barbecue in Hold on. Thailand. I don't know if I'm, if I'm getting residual barbecue flavor off my tongue, which we've been cleansing our palate between each round with the lime, but that being said, who that tickles? Oh, I got a little spice when I did that. It's not like crickets, I'll tell you that. They douse those crickets with flavor. We should have got more of those, but. Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing. I'm, I mean, it just tastes well, like I'm you know on what? the wharf. I got a little bit of something, I'm giving it a two. I feel like I'm sucking on a, a fisherman's finger. I'm gonna give it a one for a total of three. Okay, so clear winner, no surprises here. Lays yep. with 16 points total. Ran away with it. Good work, Lays. There's a reason why it's on your package. <laughs> yeah. yes. All right, come back Friday when we've got a special guest host and a special message from us. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this with your barbecue-loving friends and family. You know what time it is. Hello, this is Sir. And this is Aula. We're from Egypt. And it's, it's time, time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. We've got new merch over at our store that we haven't even talked about on the show. You should go over to rentlane.com slash store and find out what it is. Yeah! And click through the Good Mythical More. We're going to do a pulverized chip identification test. Well, let's get textual. This is when we have you text something to someone and then screenshot the response. We want you to text... Theoretically, where would you dump a body? Theoretically. Theoretically. Emphasis on that. And then screenshot the response with hashtag let's get textual and we'll repost our favorites. <laughs> That's a creepy one. <laughs> Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.